Hey, what's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and yes, I am finally back home. Ah, after this long, long journey, I am finally happy to be back home. And, just like I promised you guys, I got my wings back! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you guys probably are wondering why I look like this. Well, believe it or not, these are actually, this is actually the gear that I wore when I was on my little gem quest. <laughs> anyway, see? Check this out. Here's the full thing. See? Check it out! <laughs> I look awesome, don't I? Yep, and you guys probably may think I look like Shadow, but no. This is not, no, this isn't, no, I don't look like Shadow. But anyway, yeah, I do look pretty cool. Well, anyway, um, I'm here chilling. Well, anyway, I'm here chilling uh, with three very special people in my life. Every, well, let me introduce them one by one. First, there's my ever so beautiful and sexy wife, Sarah Dragonhog. Why, hello everyone. I'm just glad that my husband's back and feeling a whole lot better. Yeah, I am feeling a whole lot better. And next up, we have someone who actually helped me on this journey. She's a real treasure hunting genius, Rouge the Bat. Why, hello everyone. It is I, Rouge the Bat, and I am definitely glad to help you on your little quest trying to find those crystals. I mean, hey, you're the gem. I mean, hey, you are the treasure hunter. I mean, I'm pretty sure you ran into a few crystals every now and then. Yes, that is true. <laughs> and anyway, last but not least, last but not least, we have the, we have someone who actually is just here by random or just because I called her here. Everybody, please say hello to Queen Sally Acorn. Hello, everybody. Yep, that's right, guys. I have Sally here. Sally, it's been a long time since I last saw you. Whatever happened? Oh, well, I was, well, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm actually living large. Because all so thanks to my daughter's singing career with your daughter, we're racking in money like crazy. Oh, so basically you're doing well ever since your divorce with Monkey Con? Yep, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> Who knew being a single mother with a singing daughter will be so fun? Oh, trust me. Having a singing daughter is very, very complicated. I mean, she's constantly locked inside her room almost every day, making music and singing to herself and all sorts of things. Well, Sarah, can you blame our daughter? She's moving on up and she's growing up. A little too fast. I'm so proud of her. Flame, listen, you raised a good daughter, okay? And besides, she wouldn't have gotten that musical gene without you. Yeah, I know. I mean, I am the musical one in the family. Well, me and my daughter. <laughs> well, anyway, um, first, Rouge, I just want to say thank you so much for helping me find those crystals. No problem. I mean, hey, anything to help out an ex-boyfriend. Yeah, I know. By the way, a lot of you are probably wondering, I know a lot of you Rouge fans are probably wondering, What? You dated Rouge the Bat? And you broke up with her? Are you crazy or something? Well, for two things. One, I'm not crazy. And two, the reason why we broke up is because, well, our relationship wasn't really working out pretty well. I mean, sure, a lot of you may think that Rouge, she is a very, very beautiful, uh, Sonic character, and I must agree. No offense, Sarah. I'm not offending you or anything. Oh, no, you're fine. Keep going. Okay. Well, anyway, um, basically what I'm trying to say is, Rouge, she's beautiful, and she is very nice and sweet and good with treasure hunting, but the thing is, I, uh, besides treasure hunting, she's a thief, and I really didn't want to date a thief, but let's just say Rouge kind of charmed me into it. What? I was young then, okay? I was young and naive back then, alright? Well, at least now you're with me. And I'm not cheap and naive and all sorts of other things. Yeah, I know that, Sarah. <laughs> well, anyway, Sally, I see that you have on a little crown on your head. Let me guess, you got that from thanks to Maya? Yes, I did. <laughs> what? Can a mother not treat herself? I mean... Me and my daughter, we basically are sharing the money. 
Well, that's good. So, um, Rouge, can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? Like, what is the real reason why you helped me on my journey? Is it because you really wanted to find those gems, or is it because you really wanted to help me? Well, it's a bit of both. It's a bit of both? What do you mean? Well, to be honest, I actually wanted to help you. Because even though you are one of my exes, I really wanted to help you. I mean, I somewhat had just a little bit of feelings for you when I was trying to find those gems. Plus, we did have a lot of good times together back then, way back in the day when we were dating. And not to mention, we did have a lot of flying beef and all sorts of other things. Yeah, besides Rouge, me and her, we used to fly a whole mess of a lot. Until that whole tragedy struck with Bane. Ugh. And, pretty, and I was grounded. Yes, but now you're airborne again. Now that you got your wings back. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to show you guys. Take a look at the new wings. See? <laughs> they look awesome, right? They're made out of pure crystal. And they can't break off. <laughs> That's right. And as you guys can see, uh, my wings are away for right now because, see, that's the thing. They can actually shapeshift into my wings. So whenever I need to fly, they can just sprout out as wings. Or, and the best thing is, they can even turn into like different weapons like blades and stuff. And if I need to move around, they can turn into like tentacles, kind of like Dr. Octopus. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But anyway, uh, so yeah, but the one thing is that they don't shoot out. Yeah, they don't create like guns or anything or blasters. And I'm kind of, ha and I'm kind of having a hard time trying to control them. But luckily, I know someone from the Ruby universe who actually does the same thing. But I'll probably bring her on onto, onto the channel later on today, maybe. Okay, but anyway, um, back to what I was saying. Um, Rouge, you were saying? Oh, uh, yes. Well... I kind of had a little bit of feelings still for you. I mean, not romantic feelings or anything. I just kind of had remorse. I mean, I wanted to help out a fellow flyer. I mean, it's a shame that you got your wings clipped. Yeah, it's okay. I'm okay now. I'm okay now. Yes, and now that you got your wings back, everything is all good. Yes, everything is all good. Plus, not to mention, my husband does look kind of sexy all black and red like that. Okay, wow. Sarah, can you please stop? Not in front of company. Well, it's the truth. I mean, look at you. All sexy, black, red. Almost makes you look dangerous. Okay, okay. Enough with the compliments, please. What? You don't like getting complimented by your own wife? No, it's not that. It's just that... Oh my gosh, I'm turning red a little bit. Aw, he's turning red. Almost like how Knuckles does when I flirt with him. Rouge, not you too. I mean, I do have to admit, he is pretty cute when he blushes. Sally! Okay, now you ladies are just making me feel embarrassed. Just stop. You guys are making me feel embarrassed. Uh, you guys are making me feel embarrassed. Just stop. Oh, well, okay then, if you're getting uncomfortable. Well, I'm just really glad that you're back home. Yeah, I know. That journey was crazy. I mean, I ran into all sorts of different things. Right, Rouge? Yes, that journey was pretty crazy. I mean, we had to travel through different dimensions. We had to cut through the Mario universe just to get to the Ruby universe. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, I know. And that's when I met my and that's when I met my old friend Rosalina. Yeah, I brought her onto the channel while you guys were out. And I also had a few uh and I also had a few games of Would You Rather and all sorts of other things with a couple of friends while you guys were out napping and stuff. Oh, and by the way, I also heard that Roxy is going to be your new sister. Yeah, I know. After when her mom, after when her parents died, thanks to Eggman, my mom is actually kind, my mom was actually offered to let her become my permanent sister. Because back in the day, me and her, we used to be very, very close. Almost like brother and sister. So we decided to make it official. 
she's going to become my new sister. So, yeah, um, how many sisters will I have? I'll have three sisters. Wait, no, four sisters. Yeah, I'll have four sisters and one, two brothers. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay, this is just actually going to be really, really crazy. Wow, I have a big family. Note to self, keep track of it. Yes, you might need to keep track of your family. Because, well, obviously, you have so many relatives, I bet you can't even remember who they are. Obviously, I can. I mean, there's my mom. There's my mom, Cinder the Dragon Hog. Cinder the Hedgehog, I mean. My dad was the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, how is your father? Uh, I don't want to talk about him. <sighs> oh, sorry I asked. Maybe I might tell everybody about my father in some video. Maybe I might. If you guys want me to tell you the story about my father, let me know in the comments down below. Because it's a real tragic, because it's a real tragedy. But anyway, um, but anyway, um, back to what I was saying. There's my mom, Cinder the Dragon Hog. Then there's my other mom, Queen Alina. Then there's my third mom, Bunny Rabbit, also known as my mother-in-law. And my mother. Yeah, I know. And then there's my, then there's my father-in-law, uh, Antoine. I can't believe it. After years and years of knowing that guy, he hates me. And yet he still doesn't know that we're married. Yeah, I know. It's because we haven't told him yet. I mean, he's, I mean, he's been away for so long fighting a war on the other side of Mobius. He was, he's too busy fighting on Mo a war on the other side of Mobius that he doesn't even know. Heck, he still thinks that you're a little girl, Sarah. Yes, I know. I mean, my father, he is a bit something, but at least he still has his intentions. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but I'm just saying, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Oh, trust me. If I know Antoine, he'll be back quicker before you can say, Allons-y! Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. Oh, and before you guys and before you guys ask, Alanzi means let's go in French. Yes, I do know French. And I do know Spanish too. And I do know Spanish too, a little bit. And besides, <laughs> about my real talent is speaking French. My real spent my real talent is speaking French. Check it out. <clears throat> you ladies are gonna love this. <clears throat> Bonjour madames and messieurs. Je m'appelle Je m'appelle. Sorry. <laughs> my, sorry, my French is a little bit rusty. <clears throat> I haven't spoke French in a very, very long time. Anyway, let me try that again. <clears throat> Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Je m'appelle Flame Dragonhog. There we go. At least I got that right. Oh my gosh. Um, Sarah, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm just a little bit... <laughs> okay, uh, guys, you guys can't see it, but my wife's face is turning red. I guess she likes it when I speak French. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She really does like it when I do when I say French, when I speak French. But anyway, that is pretty cute, right? Yes, I absolutely think you two make an adorable couple. Well, thank you, Rouge. I mean, don't get me wrong, you and Knuckles, you two make a really adorable couple yourselves. Yes, even though I am sharing him with Julie Sue, Tikal, and Shade. Yeah, you know, it is kind of, you know, it is pretty strange how you're able to function in a shared relationship with Knuckles. Well, Knuckles, he's a guy who likes to make people happy. And so, since all four of us liked him... And only and he and we thought only one of him only one of us can be with him. We just thought to ourselves, well, he just came up with a great idea. He'll have all four of us, just so that way all four of us can be happy. Oh well, that's good to know. Well, that is really good to know. And uh, Sally, I also just want to say, have you seen my daughter by any chance? Because I haven't seen her when she was in the ho when I was in the hospital. Well, her and Amber, they haven't, they haven't, well, they haven't came back from their tour yet. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, before you guys are wondering where my daughter has been, um, she hasn't been on the channel for a long time. Reason why is because she is on tour. She's going on a cross-country tour around Mobius and performing with the Shimmer Girls. Oh boy, I haven't seen my daughter in a very long time. I wonder how much she's grown. Oh, don't worry. I mean, my daughter Maya is with her. I mean, she's a very, very mature teenager. And I'm pretty sure she'll be okay. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, I hope my yeah, I hope our daughters will be okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, Solar the cat, she's a very good teenager too. And same thing sorry. And same thing with Violet. My niece my niece, hopefully she'll be okay too, because if she's not, Sonic will have my neck. Oh, trust me, I'm pretty sure Sonic won't kill you. Trust me, Sarah. Even Sonic can hurt siblings. Trust me, I should know. If I had a dollar for every time I seen him hurt... If I had a dollar for every time I seen him hurt Sonya. Not physically, but mentally. Not physically, but mentally. <laughs> as many times as I seen him make her, made her cry. Several times. Whew. But anyway, yeah. But anyway, we're just chilling here, and, oh, Rouge, by any chance, on our trip, you said you wanted, you said you were going to start a team. Um, so, what's your team called? It's called Team Beauty. It contains the four members, it contains four members, and, not to mention, it's made up of the four most beautiful girls in all of Mobius. And, well, I'm just starting it, so it's just me, for right now. And, I also wanted to ask Sarah something. Yes, what is it, Rouge? Sarah, would you like to be the second member of Team Beauty? Oh my, um, what do you think, Flame? Well, you are already on a team with her, and I guess, and besides, you two are very, very good teammates. So, what the heck, go ahead and join her. Aw, oh, thank you so much, honey. Yeah, no problem. Oh, and, uh, oh, and, uh, Sally, if you, oh yeah, Sally, by any chance, where were you when I was in the hospital? I'm sorry, I was too busy. Oh, well, that's understandable. Everybody's busy. Everybody's busy. Oh, and, uh, also, oh, and also, Rouge, was there something you'd like to ask Sally, too? Oh, yes. Um, Sally, would you like to join Team Beauty as well? Um, well, I wouldn't exactly call myself beautiful or anything. Come on. I mean, think about it. You were basically with Sonic, and every day he called you beautiful. I should know. I was there. Ugh. But anyway, come on. How about you join them? Hmm. Why not? I guess I'll be part of it. Great. So Rouge, now you have three. So now you have two members. You just need one more. So who's it going to be? Um, I honestly don't know. I don't know who's going to be the fourth member. I honestly don't know. Hmm. I'll be on the search. Okay. Well, it's a good thing. And plus, not to mention my wings. They're feeling a little bit stiff. God, if only Roxy given me a um, man, if only Roxy would have given me a massage before she left for the adoption agency. Yeah, before you guys ask, um, yes, Roxy, she's at the adoption agency right now. She's basically at the adoption agency right now with my mom, and she is about to get, and my mom is about to get full custody of Roxy. So that means Roxy the fox is about to become my new sister. Well, that's good. That's very, very good. And besides, we're going to need another pyrokine pyrokinetic person on our side. Yeah, I know. I mean, Team Flame is looking a little bit skimpy now that Amber's gone. Well, she's not really gone. She's, you know, on tour. But, honestly, I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, Blaze, she's still on board. Well, I guess we do have a lot of pyrokinetics here. So, I guess we'll be okay. I mean, Blaze and Solar and all the others, 
They're really good with and all the other pyrokinetics on Mobius. They're cool. So I guess, yeah, we'll be okay. Yes, we'll be all right. Yeah. Anyway, guys, real quick. What was the damage when I was in the hospital? Because I know Eggman probably attacked. Oh, trust me, he did. Yeah, I knew it. I felt so useless. Oh, don't worry. We took care of him. Yeah, I know. It's just that if only there was something I could have done. Instead of being shut up in that hospital bed. But luckily, I'm back in action, homies. Or should I say, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sarah, you're too adorable. But anyway, um, but anyway, um, Rouge, tell me something. Did you really actually still have feelings for me while you were looking for those crystals? Yes, to be honest, I was. I did have feelings for you. But not, but like I said, not romantic feelings. I get it, I get it. I get it, don't worry. Yes, not romantic feelings, because you know I would never cheat on Knuckles. Yes, I know. But anyway, um... But anyway, um, quick question. What exactly were you planning to do with the crystals when you got them? Because, trust me, Rouge, I know you. There could have been a time where you could have just betrayed us the whole, de the whole time. Now I feel offended. Not every jewel that I take, I keep. Um, Rouge, your saying is basically all the world's gems are mine to keep. So, how do you explain that? Well, that's just how people always think of me. Because, honestly, that is true. I do love gems, but, heck, I'll even steal gems if I wanted to. But not all the gems that I steal are kind of, you know... Um, yeah, but... Rouge. But, Rouge, you're forgetting something here. Most of the gems aren't really yours to keep. Yes, I know, I know. I always give them back at the end. Like the Chaos Emeralds, for example. I mean, I gave them back to Sonic. Yeah, I know. And then you stole them again. And then I gave them back. Then you stole them again. Then I gave them back. And then you stole them again. And then I gave them back. Well, okay then. Okay, okay, okay. No need to get so uptight. Anyway, um... So, ladies, what else do you guys want to talk about? Well, there is one thing I want to talk about. What is it, Sally? Well, there is one thing. Me and Maya, we're actually moving. Moving? What do you mean, moving? We're moving to a new neighborhood. Don't worry, we're still living on Mobius, I promise. But we're actually going to move closer to someone very, very special. Oh? Who are you moving closer to? You, silly! Me? What do you mean you're moving closer to me? Well, it's because... Well, you see... You see... Um, Maya, she was, she's really, really hung up on her singing, so her, so we came to an agreement that we will move closer to you, so that way Amber, so that way Amber, Solar, and Violet, they can easily move, they can actually use our house or your house for band practice. Oh, I get it. So that way the Shimmer Girls won't have to separate. Yes, you got it. Okay, well that's good. That's definitely good. Well, do you need any help moving or anything? No, we got it. In fact, I'm in fact, I called somebody from another dimension to help us. Oh, really? Who? Oh, it's a little surprise. You met him before. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did? Yes, you met him before. Okay, well, I have to look back on most of my adventures when I met somebody from another universe that knows you. Hmm. Well, I'll probably look into it. Well, ladies, my wings, they do need to rest. My wings do need to rest. Yes, and I want to spend most, and I need to spend more time with my husband now that he's back. I really missed you a lot, honey. I missed you too, Sarah. Okay, well, I'll leave you two lovebirds behind. Same thing with me. Well, I'll see you guys later.
Team Beauty. And I'll see you later, Team Beauty. Hmm. Well, Rouge and... Well, Rouge and... Uh... Sally just left. Rouge and Sally, they just left. So, it's just you and me, Sarah. What do you want to do now? Well, there is one thing I, I wanted to do. Ever since you left, I felt so lonely. And you know how I get when I'm lonely. Um, no. What? <laughs> uh, why are you reaching into your purse? And why the world are you pulling out the lipstick? Oh, flame. Oh, no. Uh, and why the heck are you putting it on? Flame, you know how much I missed you. I missed you, too. Come here, you sexy dragon hog, you. Oh, Jesus. Guys, if I do not make a video, you guys definitely know why. If I don't make a video, you guys definitely know why. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little segment of Chilling with Flame. Uh, if you guys want to see more, please hit that like button. And let me know in the comments down below uh, what, what Sonic characters do you guys want me to chill with. Or any other character. Oh, Flame. Oh, shoot. Uh, anyway, guys, this is Flame the Dragon Hog. Signing out for now. Pray for me, guys. Later, flamethrowers. Okay, you sexy rabbit, get over here. <laughs> well, now that's the flame I definitely know and love and missed. Oh my gosh. Oh, the camera's still on. Later, flamethrowers.